y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare a roast baked turkey. I had a viewer tell me she made this last year and it was the best turkey she had ever tasted. I did a full roast video, but this is a previous video I did several years back in my old kitchen. I'm going to show you how to roast and then wrap your turkey up and bake it the rest of the remaining time. Boy, is this a delicious recipe. I hope you guys try it this Thanksgiving. We just want to thank you for watching Collard Valley Cooks. Now on with the show. Today I am making a Thanksgiving turkey. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I just got a honeysuckle white because it was 48 cents a pound. So I'm just going to rinse out the cavity good, go to where its head was, flip the skin up, and you're going to find the giblets. The neck is usually inside the cavity. We've already pulled that out. And we're just going to rinse water through it good. So let's get some paper towels and dry really well. Make sure that you have your, your spices, your fresh uh, herbs, onions. I have uh, rosemary. I have thyme. I have green onion. I have one regular onion cut up, white onion. Then I have some garlic. I'm just going to put this inside of her. I'm going to grab some of this thyme. And I'm going to use the tie that came with one of the herbs. And I'm going to bind it like this, okay, and we're just going to place it inside of her, just like that, and it can stick out, it's fine, you can do two of them, now the top part of the turkey, we're actually, you can see our spices are poking out the other side, which is fine. So let's get some onion and garlic inside of her as well that we cut up. I'm going to transfer her over here and I've got a whole stick of butter ready to rub her down with. This will help her brown pretty, okay? Okay, now we're going to salt the bird a lot. This is my roasting pan I'm going to use. And I am just going to keep her in this until she gets good and brown, then I'm going to transfer her. There she is. We're going to salt and pepper this side. And now all I'm, all I'm going to do is put a little bit of poultry seasoning on her. Make sure your rack is down low in your oven. Put her in. Okay, now she's not falling apart done. She's only been in the oven for 45 minutes. So I can pick her up with these large heavy gauge spoons. I'll do this. If you brown your turkey and then you want to transfer her, make sure you got some heavy gauge spoons. Okay? Don't try to pick her up with a tongue. She's too heavy. Okay? So, here we go. Y'all know I lift my chicken out of pots all the time with these big spoons. They work wonders. So use them. They're your friend. Now, I want this rack. It's the only shallow rack I got. I'm going to put it down in here. Now, I need the drippings out of here. But I want to turn her over. Okay? And when I turn her over, you're not going to be able to see the little pop-up anymore. But I don't care because that's not my goal. I want her to cook breast down so that some of those 
juices run down into the breast meat and help make her tender, y'all. There's the bird. I want to put just a little bit of moisture down on the bottom of it. I've got a cup of apple juice. I'm going to pour down in the bottom. And we'll, while we've got her this direction and we've got her this way, let's go ahead and put a few spices on her. You could never have too much salt on it. I should have put some salt down inside of her, but I didn't. A little bit of poultry seasoning on her. To keep her good and moist, I'll put the lid down on top of it. This is one reason, too, I don't like to buy a big bird. on the outside. She's going to go back in the oven for a good probably three and a half hours at 325. And we're getting this back in. I'm going to push her all the way to the back so that we have room to put other things. Probably let her be on one side. How's that? That way we can cook other things in the stove. Now, I know my arm's in the way, but look, this is the best view for y'all. She's going to fall apart. Apparently, I've really cooked her done done. You can see that I put stuff inside of her. She's got rosemary. Um, I put a package inside of her of rosemary, thyme, green onions, and so she smells really, really good. Um... And you can see the onion in the cavity. I want y'all to see this beautiful broth that's in my pan because this breast has been sitting in it. And like I said, it's a young bird. The good thing about cutting your turkey up early is since you've got all that juice, what I like to do is cut it up. Now she's just falling, she's good and done. But what I like to do is cut it up, put it on a plate, and actually pour some of those juices on top of the meat. And the thyme, the garlic, and everything in it. So before I serve my turkey, even, you know, even if you don't make a gravy, just take a little bit. Now, if you want it to settle a little bit and skim some of the fat off the top, you can do that too. But reach down in there and get the broth part. And just kind of pour it on top of your turkey. Now, our turkey is moist as it can be. There ain't nothing dry about this turkey, okay? But this will make it even better because it's going to bring those spices and stuff into the meat. You can even put it in a pan and keep it warm in the oven and serve it at the same time you serve everything else. And remember, all of our recipes are now printable and on the website. We just want to thank you so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks and wish you a very happy Thanksgiving.